Mika. So today we're going to be looking at crafting boxes, which the crafting boxes, also known as what I turn them into, blessing boxes. So today we're just looking at the circle and the heart right here as a plain boxes, nothing special, and you can get these at your local Dollar Tree. Okay, and here we can see that there is an already made blessing box. One of my children did this one. Um, this is my son who talks about Roblox on here. And also the character from the movie 9. And of course he does also have Sonic. So that is a way that you can also create a blessing box by creating your own drawings onto your blessing box. So we're going to check out a couple different other ways to decorate a blessing box. And this blessing box was created by my daughter. You can see at the bottom of her blessing box she used stencils. So you know, in anything that I do, I can bring God into it because he gives me my creative ability. So with that gift that he gives to me, I can help others to bring out that inner creative man with inside of them. So we're going to check out her box real quick. So with her blessing box, she took the time to make something inside, just a flower, and then she used those palms, as you can see, to decorate on the outside with this ribbon here, which was very decorative, just to add a little flavor to it, along with the stencils that she put at the bottom. So we're going to check out one more blessing box. Okay, so for this blessing box, you can see it's a little bit more intricate, a lot more detail, a lot more goes into it, a lot more stencils and creativity with stamping, with yarn, with different applications of sticker type of embossing items, just all different kinds of things that go into creating this particular blessing box. So we're going to look at some detail on it really quickly. So as you can see, around the outside is the gold ribbon at the bottom and the holographic pink paper that goes around it. And in the front, you can notice that there is the sticker that is going running in a closet that you can also use for scrapbooking. And you can also notice there's other different kinds of scrapbooking. And with this detail here with these hearts, it's actually made with a painting brush. If you guys know what a painting pen brush is, it's just a brush that paints like a pen. So it's really easy to use. So we're going to look at some other parts and features of this particular blessing box. Okay, so here we have the top. And if you can see really closely, you can see the stencils and the detail and the stamping that goes into it. And these are different kind of decorative buttons that have been put and added onto this blessing box. And underneath with the glitter is other gold ribbon that you can put on there. And on the outside, we have used a kind of fur yarn, which is easy to put on. It can come off, but you have to use like a glue gun in order to make it really stay. So it has a lot that goes into it. So underneath this top, there has been holographic paper has been put inside as well, silver. And since this was a demo, some of the stuff is falling off. But inside has been put in pink glitter ribbon just to make it look a little pretty inside. So there it is, our blessing box, where we can take our blessing and we can write something down, fold it up, open our blessing box, and put it in there and just remember and recall on times that God has blessed us. So I hope you will come back as we will be doing some more creative crafting videos. This one was just a brief one to get started. And we will talk to you very soon. Be blessed, motivated, and inspired to create. Take care.